Oh, were you surprised that he unretired 40 days later? I think I was more surprised about the 40 days later part than the unretired part. I could totally see unretired, but I would have thought that would have been toward training camp, right? Like, we watched Brett Favre do it, and it would be like, oh, it's time to get back. You start getting anxious, and you're like, mm -hmm. okay, I'm going to do that. Normally, when cats make a move like Brady did, it's like a couple years before they were a little tired of it, and then they, you know, came back around and like, okay, I'll go to training camp. I thought it would be much later if he made a move like that. And that's why I look at this kind of curious as to what went to the initial decision and where we got to at this point. Is he just kind of betting, like, look, if I am going to come back, I probably need to do it now so that the Bucks will know what they can do so they don't go draft a quarterback or come up with some other plan. Mm -hmm. Like, let me make sure I got my spot yeah. while my spot don't is miss still a damn there. Minicamp. Yeah, yeah, but I was, yeah, this was stunning. This, this was not what I expected to happen. I didn't Absolutely. expect it to happen either, but if it were going to happen, I'm not surprised that it was yesterday because obviously with free agency set to begin the day, uh, you got a situation where you got you you got guys that were going a different direction. You ain't thinking about coming to Tampa if Tom Brady ain't <laughs> there. But if Tom Brady's there, it gives you cause to pause, and it makes you say, "Wait a minute, now." I mean, the, the goat's coming back. I might want to reconsider. There's no state income taxes there in Florida. The weather's nice. On top of it all, we got a pretty damn good team. We just lost by three points in the divisional playoff game to the ultimate Super Bowl champion. And the quarterback that's coming back is not only a seven-time champion. Okay. He might be 43 years of age, going on 44, but damn, he just threw for over 5,300 yards, 43 touchdowns, just 12 interceptions, okay? And brought us back from a 27 to 3 deficit. I might want to stay with this brother. The money got to be right to some degree, but I might want to stay with this brother. That's what the timing is. And I think the one thing to ultimately peel away from this, Bamani, as well, when we bring up the Brett Favre's of the world and how they took forever to make the decisions. If you're wondering why we were all getting on Brett Favre, that was why. Because you took so long to make your decision. And the franchise ultimately was held hostage because there were things that they wanted to do. They just needed you to make up your mind. And you appeared as if you were taking your sweet old time. Whereas in this case, whether it's Jason Lick, it's, it's Bruce Arians, they talked about how they were talking to Tom Brady, particularly over the last few days. And they received indications that ultimately he was going to come back. So that's a guy that's not only a champion, it's not only the GOAT, not only somebody that just had a stellar season and was a top two MVP candidate in most folks' minds. He's also a consummate professional that was considerate of people other than himself. That's what it came down to for him making that decision yesterday. And if he wants to be inconsiderate later and quit, he can do that. Yeah. Right? It's a whole lot later to jump back in it now and then leave later if you change your mind mm -hmm. than vice versa. Cool. Right? So I think at once he could be very considerate by doing this. And it also leaves open the possibility, if you want to, to be a bit selfish about it on the back end, which I wouldn't necessarily have a problem with. I felt like this at this point. Now I don't, because one thing you shouldn't feel obligated to do is get the hell beat out of you for six months just because you said something a few months ago. That's right. You know? Yeah. I feel you on that. Ain't no disagreement What does it there. say to you uh, about Tom Brady, though? He's already got seven rings that he wants to come back for more, and he said he's got unfinished business. We know the team wasn't healthy, so essentially didn't get a fair shake this run. Well, it's hard to walk away from the table when you're up, right? Like, no matter who you are, if you are up, it's hard to do. And so, like, I was talking about this on my podcast, The Right Time. Like, if I go to Vegas and I put $200 down, mm -hmm. I have spent that $200. If I get it back, that's great. But I'm here to have $200 worth of fun. And if I get up, I'm probably going to wind up down because I had already felt like I cashed in that $200 from the mm -hmm. very beginning. If you're as far up as Tom Brady, he's like, yeah, I'm willing to come out here and maybe lose, lose a little bit on the back money. end. Like, I think we think about the guys like Johnny Unitas is a historical example. We get him looking like the end for Brett Favre. Peyton Manning, they won the Super Bowl, but he looked bad right. at the end of that. And we're like, man, you don't want to see that guy go out like that. That's right. They don't care, right? Like, they, they're not afraid of being embarrassed in the way that most of us are afraid of being embarrassed. So for him, the worst thing that can happen is I've played 20 however many great seasons, and I might have one bad one. That's not a terrifying thought. They're willing to roll the dice on that. And he'll still make good on his word. He'll be the first quarterback to ever start a game at 45 years old. And that's what he always said. And we know he has that whole TB12 wellness business as well. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's Well, the biggest thing now is he got brothers raving about it. I, and I interviewed Mike Evans on Stephen A's World on yeah. ESPN+. Plus. I got to tell you, this brother was raving about TB12 and how it's changed his life from a health perspective. And so that kind of stuff combined with Tom Brady coming back for a 23rd season, you do find yourself looking at it and going like this, what's your secret? You know, in other words, we ain't trying to be a football player. We know we can't play quarterback. But, damn it, we could be in some good health. Well, you know, yeah. it ain't like he walking around with an eight-pack. You know what I'm saying? And all of this other yeah. stuff. But he seems to be in tremendous, tremendous health. Mm -hmm. You might want people, you got 
got people out there want to gravitate to that. Drake, I had skepticism about all of that because that dude he does it with. There's yeah. reasons to be skeptical sure. of him, right? Sure. Doing the radio show one day, and Trevor Price, former def Pro Bowl defensive end, called in, and he said, "Look, hitting Ben Roethlisberger was like hitting glass, and glass breaks." He said, "You would hit Tom Brady." and he would melt into your arms, right? Like, all the guys that have the longevity thing is right. about pliability. Like, all, like the Ricky Henderson types, yep. all that, they, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Correct. They figured out the flexibility was the way to wind up playing for all this time. But he said it was a physical difference in hitting Tom Brady from the blind side, that you came and he just, mm -hmm. oh, just fell into your arms yeah. and then went to the ground. Like, he has figured something right. out. Honestly, where well, he should be sharing it instead of selling it, apparently. Yeah. Well, that's what Maybe he's doing. He he's, Alex he's sharing Turner. it. He's just selling it. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he's doing. Maybe he's making sure he get paid for it. Listen, that's you both got enough shows. Why don't you book Alex Guerrero, who runs TB12 with him, and then maybe you'll get some of those secrets. And, and Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.